Hi everyone, so I recently went to Marshalls and I found some Homeworks clearance candles. Typically they sell for $16.99, but you can find them as low as $8.50, but that's normally, at least in my stores, the day after Christmas, or you can find them for $11 or $13. So I did a total of two trips, and by the way, they have a lot of new scents out. I posted some photos on my community tab, I think that's what it's called if you want to check them out, and a short. But to go back to the candles that I purchased, I only got clearance candles, so I'm gonna go over what scents I got, the scent notes, as well as how much I paid. So let's go on to the first bag. All right, so for this shopping trip, I only got one candle, and the candle cost $13. However, my total came out to $14.33, and that's because of the tax of 10.25. I know, it's outrageous. Let me show you the scent I got. I wasn't sure about it because I don't tend to go for apple scents, but let me get it out the bag. All right, so here is the scent. It's called Orchard Nectar. It's very pretty. It has like a lot of decoration that made me think, what's it called? Spring. However, this smells a lot like apple and I feel like apples, I don't know why, but I associate that more with fall. So let me read to you the scent. Oh, and by the way, there's no lid on here. It has a very pretty pink wax. I'm surprised it's still fragrance because I feel like lids keep the scent, you know, in the wax. And I know that it's not evaporating, but that's just an idea that I have. But yeah, there's no dust cover at all. So maybe that's one of the reasons why. On my receipt, it's marked as a seasonal item. So I feel like it had already been in the store, not sold for a while. So the fragrance notes for Orchard Nectar list red apple, golden nectar, apple blossom, orchard wood. I get very little of the wood. I mainly just get this very pretty apple scent. Like think of winter candy apple, but just not fake. <laughs> or maybe it's because I typically don't go for apple scents, so that's why. So because this doesn't have a lid, and let me show you the price. So here we go, $16.99, and I got it on sale for $13. So this one doesn't have a lid and what I typically do once I'm done burning a Homeworks candle, if you've seen any of my empties, I always keep them like this. So I have this backup lid right here that I've been airing out and this is just the brush metal lid. I'm not sure which one was sold with this one so I'm going to go ahead put it over. I think the lid for this one uh, went with peanut butter waffle cone. It doesn't look the best. I have a feeling it was a different color, maybe a shiny lid. But yeah, here's the first candle that I got. Super happy with it. And I think it'd be nice for the fall season. At least that's when I'm going to burn it. Okay, now that the first bag is out the way, let me go on to my second shopping trip, which was the biggest one. Um, I kind of emptied out almost all their scents, or at least the ones that I liked. Okay, so for this shopping trip, I spent a total of, or I should say a subtotal of $91. The tax was $9.33, so my total came out to $100.33. Let me see. Yeah, so I got a total of seven candles. All right, so if you can tell, all of these are marked as a seasonal item. So I have a feeling that that's why, at least that's what my friend told me who works at TJ Maxx, that if items aren't sold within a certain time frame, then when the new season comes out, that they need to clearance out their old inventory. All right, so I think... I think I'm gonna go over to the back to the right. Okay, so for the first candle, I was so happy I found this because I saw it posted, I don't know if it was on Instagram or something, but I did see them in store and I thought, oh, I like the scent, but I can just get a Bath & Body Works sun drenched linen and get the same thing. But now I get to test out a Homeworks one. So here we have fresh cotton clouds. It looks super fresh and clean and it mainly just smells like a laundry detergent. And then all of these are going to be $13, so there's the price. Fragrance notes list clean air, fresh rainwater, soft lily of the valley. And this one has the shinier lid. Um, it doesn't have any dust covers though, so here's that. It smells really nice. I feel like it kind of gives me the same scent as sun-drenched linen, but I feel like if this is a four wick, I'm hoping that it will be just as strong. Yeah, it's really nice. So here's the first candle that I got on sale. All right, so the next candle, this would be my third time purchasing it. I did a review on it, and the main reason why I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this is because of the wick issues, at least the ones that I had during my first burn that they kept topping over. And that one is Blackberry Tres Leches. Once again, I don't think that this smells anything like Tres Leches. 
$13 as well. Fragrance notes list. Let's see. Juicy blackberries, sponge cake, heavy cream, vanilla bean. And then this one, I don't know if it had the dust cover cover either, but here it is a pretty pale indigo wax color. I don't know why, but this is one of the scents that is <laughs> that smells kind of like intriguing that it makes you want to smell it again and again. I feel like the scent throw when I burned it was like a medium or so. The main issue was the falling wicks. But I decided to just purchase it and then return it later in case I change my mind or I don't know what, but I decided to secure it just for now. So here is Blackberry Tres Leches. All right, next candle, we have one that I've already purchased before, but I didn't get a chance to burning. And that one is Sunday Morning Cereal. I believe when I placed my homework stop shop order, I purchased this. I haven't gone around to burning any candles. I've been kind of preoccupied with some that I'm trying to like test out and see if I like it or not. And the only difference with this one is that I think it was originally at Home Goods potentially because I've never seen that sticker before. But of course, it was the same price, $13. So the fragrance notes for Sunday morning cereal list ripe strawberry. Ooh, I skipped a line. Crushed cereal, wild cherry, ripe strawberry, sweetened milk. For some reason, I mainly pick up... Oh, and this one does have a dust cover. But I mainly pick up the cherry and the strawberry mix. It smells really nice, like fruity pebbles, but like no... I would say before you add any of the milk right now. Maybe it comes through while burning, but... Super pretty. Yeah, a lot of these have different lids. This one is the brush lid. The Blackberry Tres Leches was the shiny lid. I'm not too picky on the lids because I'm going to reuse them. But yeah, here we have Sunday morning cereal. I also haven't gone around to burning the original one that I purchased. So maybe I'm going to burn the one that I purchased on the Homeworks website and then return or keep it. But I have a feeling that this one's going to perform well. Okay, and this one, I think I hauled it when it was the employee 20% off and my friend let me borrow her employee discount card. However, um, since these were clearance for 13, it's actually a better price right now versus what I paid for with her discount. And that scent is Kiwi Margarita. I love this. It's such a nice citrusy, sugary scent. Yeah, I can never get tired of the scent. Here is the price tag. Fragrance notes for Kiwi Margarita lists green kiwi, chilled melon, Caribbean lemon, crushed sugarcane mint. All right, and then so the wax, of course, is this like lime green color, but of course it's always pale. I've never seen a Homeworks candle have a dark, like deep wax color. Like when I smell the lid, it, I am picking up a minty note, which I don't really like necessarily. But um, when I smell the wax, I get more of that like citrusy notes plus the sugar. So we'll see how this one performs. Yeah, so now I have two of this Kiwi Margarita. Okay, so that takes care of this bag. So let me move it out the way. All right, going on to the last three candles. Let's see what I got. Okay, this candle, I like how it smells on cold. It's just very light. It's a vanilla scent, so I'm kind of expecting it to be light. But if I had to give like a scent rating from one to ten on cold this would be about like a three or four and that is toasted vanilla cupcake so i already purchased one that's spun vanilla sugar i think and i was expecting it to become somewhat similar however this one is a lot lighter and i feel like the other one is more of like of the vanilla bean extract here we go and then this one they actually put the sticker at the bottom so i don't even know if i can read the set notes but it says vanilla i'm assuming cream something 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 and then i want to say all of these were poured 2022 so this one says september 9th oh but let me show you how it looks like on the inside and just has a matching i would say it's like cream off-white type of wax i have a feeling some of these lids were exchanged because i'm getting a little bit of the cotton scent but yeah so let me check out the four dates for all of these. I have a feeling that they are all over a year old. Yeah, so Kiwi Margarita was 2022. Sunday Morning Cereal was 2022. Oh, so the Blackberry Tres Leches was 2023. Fresh Cotton Clouds was 2023. As well as the Orchard Nectar was 2023. So some of these are old, some of these are new. I guess it's not old inventory for everything. Okay, let's go to this one. I wasn't sure if I wanted it because this one didn't have a lid. However, I found one 
in my room that I was airing out and I ended up putting this one so I'm not sure if it's the correct lid but that scent is salted caramel cake and the reason why is because this one smells a lot like cinnamon caramel swirl from Bath and Body Works if it was a little bit lighter um, yeah so this is the lid that I took from my collection it has a pale I want to say like pale tan color and it does smell very syrupy I, I love it it's almost like cinnamon caramel swirl but if the syrup note was just dialed down a bunch and it was slightly more authentic get actually I'm glad I kept it I'm going to keep this one I, initially I thought I wasn't but I think I will and I love how the wraparound label has just these pancakes drizzled with syrup way more than what I would put Fragrance notes are salted caramel, black walnut, caramel swirl, vanilla bean. This one was for, let's see, I think that says January 7th, 2023. And like all the others, they, it was on sale for $13. Here we go. Okay, and the final candle, I was also debating whether or not to purchase it because I do not like certain scents. So if you've seen any of my videos, you know the scents that I just do not like or I'm not with at all. Coconut lavender i'm very picky and banana that could be a little tricky so i decided to take the plunge and try out banana daiquiri this smells very strong on cold yeah it smells like a solid like seven out of ten on cold sniff oh and the wax is this pretty pale yellow color i also purchased it for 13 dollars this one was for december 8 2022 fragrance notes are sweet banana coconut froth, dark rum, sugared musk. And for this one, I'm definitely picking up the coconut and the banana, which are two scents that I'm not really fond of. So I decided to why not test the waters, go out of my comfort zone. I might not like it, but I knew what I was getting myself into. All right, so here were the eight candles that I purchased from Marshalls. All of them were Hallmark's four wick candles. Super excited. I don't know if I should really keep the banana daiquiri because it's coconut plus banana. I hear good reviews about it so maybe i'll you know take a gamble toasted vanilla cupcake was definitely the weakest one out of all of these and i think the strongest one would be fresh cotton clouds all of these are new to my collection with the exception of kiwi margarita which i purchased but haven't burned sunday morning cereal that i got from the homework stop shop website but haven't burned and blackberry tres leches is a repurchase but i'm not sure if i should keep two backups of it or if i should just keep one so i'm still debating on that anyways thank you so much for watching this video have a great day okay bye